Hey, my beautiful witches. It is Murphy Hunter, Gray Hunter here. Um, I just made the video for the, um, the vlog for the Brujas meeting. And so that video is a long video. Sorry. So I'm having to download that one onto my computer. And then, um, you know, then I will post it, um, onto my YouTube and then I will post it on here. So that's going to take a little process. So probably like in about an hour, it'll be up. Um, but I wanted to make a quick video and talk about, um, you know, um, I was, I was kind of, um, I was kind of, you know, saddened yesterday that we, um, did not have a, um, a bigger crowd. Um, and you know, um, I love the, sorry, my lips are dry. For the one, I love the ones that, that come that are very, um, that are very loyal and, and come and, and I, and I don't just say loyal to, to me, um, in coming to the, to the meetings that doesn't, um, that, that's not all what I'm talking about. It's like being loyal to yourself in your craft. Um, you know, to be a witch simply means more than just saying, I'm a witch, you know, it, it takes, um, to be anything, to be, you know, a witch or to be a photographer or to be, you know, um, a model or to be a, a, a singer, an artist, whatever it is that you do to call yourself that it takes work and dedication, you know, it takes time. Um, and you know, being a witch is no less than being an artist. If you are not out there practicing and, and practicing your craft, you're not going to get any better and you're not going to progress in anything that you do. You know, um, and like I said, that goes in, for everything, just like with my photography, um, you know, I'm not going to get any better and I'm not going to be able to progress in my skill and my craft if I'm not out there shooting and practicing and learning and learning from my mistakes and, you know, per trying to get it as perfect as I can. Um, you know, because every day we learn something in anything that we do. And for you to not practice your witchcraft, I'm not saying get up and practice, you have to do a spell every single day. That's not what I'm talking about. Um, you know, you just can't say I'm a witch and you know nothing about anything. Um, the title is very mysterious. It, it, it's, it's great. It gives you not only some type of mystery, but it gives you, it empowers you. At least for me, being a witch empowers me. It gives me empowerment, like not just saying, um, you know, power. It just empowers me as a woman to give me that kind of strength, um, as a witch, because the strength and not to be able to cast things, but in order, it, it gives me power in the fact that, you know, I have bettered my life through my craft. It has made me a stronger person. It's given me more confidence. It's made me very happy. And I feel that I can, um, I have one step up above anyone else who is a non-practicing witch as far as, you know, when, um, I need something, uh, I need to heal someone or myself, or if, um, I am, um, needing to do a money spell, or if I'm needing to do a protection spell for myself or my family or my, my property or my pets, whatever it is that I'm doing, I feel that I have, um, one step up above, um, a non-practicing witch only because um, you know, you feel like you have the ability to make a, a difference, even if it's just a very small difference, just like when you are going on a diet and you're like, well, I can't give up all this stuff, but what I can do is give up sodas. I won't drink any more sodas or I'll only give myself one soda a day or whatever it is that you, the way you cut it. It may not be a huge thing, but over time it adds up. So over time you give up sodas or just give up drinking and only have one soda a day, in time you're going to see the difference in the weight that you lose or the puffiness that you lose from your face and your hands and stomach, whatever. You know, or drinking more water, you're going to see that it's better for your skin, better for your hair. You know, just small 
change a small change makes a huge difference and that's what I say when it when it comes to your spell work if all you can do is say you know what I'm going to I'm going to take this blue topaz crystal and I'm going to read five things about what a blue topaz can do in my craft I'm going to learn about this particular crystal today and if all that you do is watch a video or read something, you know, if you if you buy a crystal book and you just read about one crystal um, a day or a week, um, that's more than what you knew before you picked that book up or before you, I mean, you don't even have to have a book. You can get on the internet and type in blue topaz and you will learn something about it. It's something that simple. When you go to the bathroom, take your phone if you have to, or if you're just sitting at work and you have a moment to look up, just like you're looking on Facebook or looking at this video, you can look on YouTube and find something. You have to do something, something to better yourself as a witch. It is just not going to jump in front of you and just enter your, your, your brain somehow. It, you know, it means nothing. You can say you're a witch and you can give people the impression that you know what you're doing, but you're only fooling yourself if you're not practicing your craft, if you're not out there doing the best that you can for yourself to better yourself. Um, and like I said, I know it's hard. I know if you're, if you're working and you have children, you don't have time to do all the reading and research. I, I get that. That's why I have this page. That's why I have the Brujas page. That's why I do monthly meetings. You know, um, I put so much information on this Brujas page. And I love all of you guys that are on here. And I love that you post. I love that you ask questions. I love it. Um, and so I try to make sure that if someone sends me something like, Hey, could you talk about, can you find some information about Citrine? I'm going to put it on there. You know, or can you tell me about, you know, Bailey's? How can I use Bailey's? I will put it on there because the page means a lot to me. I work the page every single day. Um, I put tons and tons and tons of stuff up. I make videos. I post videos. I do my very best for my part to share with you guys to make it easy for you. So that way, if you are a very busy mother um, or a father or just busy in general and you don't have time to do this let me do the work for you but you got to get on the page you got to read stuff and interact I mean like you know say hey well I I, I need more information or I don't get this or hey I have something I can teach you know um, you have to um, you have to do so I mean you don't just have to do that but I mean, what I'm saying is that take the time to educate yourself if not through this page uh, buy a book I mean, come on, there's so many books out there. You can get books so cheap nowadays. And the video that I made about the Brujas, I gave some information about where you can get some books really cheap. Um, and pick up a book and, and read it. I mean, you're you're going to pay more for um, something, food that you buy versus, you know, you can buy a book. Like in, in the video that I made, I bought this book on herbs for $4, four books. I pay more for my Starbucks coffee four dollars and look at all this information and, and like I said you may not be able to pick up the book and read it every day but um, if there's something you want to know you can you can just take five minutes out of your day and look something up and say this week I'm gonna learn about one crystal or I'm gonna learn about one herb or one candle whatever make it a goal to to better your your craft to better yourself as being a witch now, if all you can do is um, is chat with another witch, learn something. Don't just say you're something and you cannot back it up. I cannot say that I am, am a photographer unless I feel that I've earned that title. And I practice my photography all the time, all the time. And I still don't think I'm at the level to where most other people are. Even though people tell me they love my work, I just think that I need to just continue to do better, to do better. And there is. There's so many things you can do to better it, to better yourself in anything. And um, even with my witchcraft, as much as I know, and as many years I've been practicing witchcraft, I learn something new every single day because there's so much information out there. So, yes, you can. There's so much information out there that you can that you can learn. So, again, like I said, um, you don't have to come to the meetings to be a witch you don't have to participate on the page to be a witch 
just make it a goal to yourself to learn to um to better your craft um you know and if being a witch means a lot to you then you need to put the time and effort into it you know um i don't watch a lot of tv and if i do um you know it's i record it and i'll watch it later but i do put time now yes i am a stay-at-home mom i do my photography i have my photography business but you know i homeschool my my child you know um and um you know i don't really have as much time as a lot of people think that i do i i stay up a lot and undo my work or i find time here and there um but i do put a lot of work into my craft there was a time where um my kids were little i was in college and i just did not have the time i mean i really didn't have the time so you know um i do get it i do get it but now there is so much information at your fingertips. You know, you pick up your pick up a phone and and you have tons and tons of information right here. You don't have to pick up you don't have to go to the library. You don't have to carry a book with you. It's right there. Get on the page and there's you can get on the Brujas page every day and you're going to see something new. Every day you're going to see a video, you're going to see something new that I've posted or something that someone else has posted. So there's no reason whatsoever that you can say that I don't have time. Everybody has time to get on Facebook and post and scroll through there. So like I said, just make it a goal. If your witchcraft means a lot to you, if your craft means a lot to you or something else that you do, be in photography, a cook, whatever it is that means a lot to you, put the time and effort into it. All right, guys, that's all I just wanted to say. Um, I hope everybody is enjoying this beautiful Sunday. Um, love y'all all. Blessed be. Bye.